A fiery horse by the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> early settlers in the western United States were faced with many hardships. The forces of nature, hostile Indians, and worst of all, the many outlaws who roamed the territory robbing and plundering the honest ranchers. Astride his great horse Silver, the masked rider of the plains fought these criminals through the length and breadth of seven states. His courage never faltered. His strength was equal to any emergency, and in time he brought law and order to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! This is the senior Pinewood! We've got to hurry! Hi, oh, Silver! Away! Zig Fuller, the sheriff at Pinewood, and his deputy, Sandy Dunlap, were standing at the bar of the cafe when a thin, hollow-cheeked boy of about 16 or 17 walked up to them. Sheriff. Sheriff Fuller. Sheriff, the kid here is talking to you. Huh? Oh, it's you, is it? Could, could I speak to you alone, Sheriff? What's the matter? It, it's real important, Sheriff. Something wrong, Bob? Well, not exactly. If you've got something to say to me, speak out. I can't waste time on young sprats like you that thinks they got secrets. But, Sheriff... Just it's... go ahead, Bob. Nobody's paying any attention to us. Unless it's something you'd rather I didn't hear. Oh, no, it ain't that. Well, same. then... Sheriff, if, if I showed you where you could find Nick Gage and his gang, would, would you see that I got the reward money? Huh? What's that? And do you think you could make me a deputy, too? You mean to say you know where Nick's hiding out? Uh-huh. Where are they at? Down by Muddy Creek, camped in the woods. But I ain't going to see no more, do you promise me? Promise you what? Uh, uh, about the reward cash and being made a deputy. Look here, young fella. Are you trying to make a fool out of me? Oh, what do you mean? Telling me you found them crooks when I've been searching the country for them for a month. But I have, Sheriff. Honest, I have. <laughs> Hey, fellas, listen to this. This is the best one yet. <laughs> the kid here says he's found Nick Gage's hideout. Look at this skinny run. <laughs> and he's got the crust to come here with a story like that. <laughs> well, that's Witter Brian's kid, ain't it? Does he figure he's a bear hunter? <laughs> he looks like he'd be scared to come within a mile of them crooks. That ain't so. I did find him. How do you know the kid's lying, Sheriff? Ah, oh, it's read all over him. He's just a no-good youngin' that's trying to make himself important. But, Sheriff, I've been hunting them crooks all the time of late. I, I gotta get some kind of a job, and, and I figured that if I could find Nick, then you'd make me a deputy. <laughs> <laughs> Look what wants to be a deputy. A deputy. <laughs> if he tried to tote his six-gun, he'd break in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe figures on making faces and scaring crooks to death. <laughs> I could be a deputy. I can shoot, and I ain't afraid, neither. Sheriff, you gotta listen to me. We need that reward cash. Oh, I ain't got a penny in the house. We, we ain't hardly enough to eat lately. I suppose that's my fault. Well, of course it ain't, but you can you help. You think to hear you talk that I was supposed to see everyone around here reach, besides doing my regular job. I never said that. I'm willing to work for what I get. Then get out of here and go to work. 
Yeah, but this ain't no place for young'uns like you anyhow. Then, then you don't believe what I told you? If I listen to every idiot that comes along pretending to know something, I'd go loco. Now get out. All right. And tell your mama she'd better not let you out of the house no more till you're grown up. <laughs> It ain't fair. I, I was just trying to help, but they all just laughed at me. I guess you no... wait. Huh? Oh. You need food? What if I do? I, I ain't begging for it. Tonto won't help you. you. You was inside just now, wasn't you? Uh, and me hear what you say. I, I noticed you because you you didn't laugh at me. Uh, me believe you. If, if you did, you was the only one. You cometh, Tonto. What for? Me give you food. Then we talk with friends. I just now said I wasn't begging. I don't want nothing I don't earn. You earn food, all right. And and I wouldn't take no grub unless Ma got some. Her not eat? She, she ain't had much to eat lately. Then you come. We get food for her, too. And and you say you can fix it so I'll be earning it? Ma would never stand for charity. Me fix that. Gosh, maybe you're a redskin, but I'd say you're a heap whiter than them fellas inside the cafe. You got horse? <laughs> yeah, right here. He ain't much, but he gets me around. Um, and you come. Uh, steady, steady, feller. <laughs> Where are we going? We go camp. You lead the way, engine. Get him up, scout. Get him. kid's story. But I thought you said you didn't believe him. <laughs> what else do you think I'd say? Why should we share that reward with the Witter's kid? You mean... I it? mean, maybe he told the truth, maybe he didn't. Might have been just his luck to stumble on something we missed. But that ain't gonna keep us from cashing in on him. If it's so... Well, that ain't right. You're cheating the young one. Yeah? What if he does know where Nick Gage is? It's just it's gonna make the capture, ain't it? Yeah, but then... And if you can't use 2000 in reward money, I can. Well, I don't like it. Bob should get a share anyhow. Maybe you don't like it. You like your job, don't you? Huh? Don't forget I made you deputy. And if I'm a mind to, I can get somebody else in your place. You let me go? I reckon you got my meaning. But where will I look? Just going to Muddy Creek ain't enough. You... Didn't you catch on when the kid almost let it slip? Let what slip? He started to say they was camped on Muddy Creek in the woods. He caught himself, but not in time. And what is there along the creek with woods that's big enough for crooks to hide out in? He must have meant the woods over north. Right. And that's where you're going. Now? Now. And you see to it, if they're there, they don't catch on, you found them. Uh-huh. Then get back here and let me know. I'll get a posse together and we'll round up them outlaws. <laughs> and after that, Sandy, you and me will split $2,000. Now on your way. I'll do it, Sheriff. But I still don't like it. Get up. Get up there. The Lone Ranger was away when Tonto and young Bob Bryan reached camp. But while they waited, Tonto prepared a meal, which the half-starved boy ate ravenously. Gosh, Jim, this is the first square meal I've had in a coon's age. <laughs> you eat like you plenty hungry. It ain't only being hungry. It's the way you cook things, too. Golly, even Ma can't do no better. I say. What's the matter? I, I just happened to think, me eating like this and... Ma waiting for me. You wait for friend, and you take food home. But you ain't told me what I'm to do to earn it yet. Me tell you that later. Hey, here comes somebody. Ah, uh, that Tonto friend. But, but he's masked. Him not outlaw. No. Him work for law. Well, it don't matter to me. If he's your friend, then I don't care what he is. I'm for him. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, howdy. <laughs> This feller named Bob. Bob? Bob uh, Bryan's my handle, stranger. I, maybe I shouldn't have come here, but Tano asked me to. He said I could work for some grub and so... Him know where outlaw hide. What's that? Him say them in wood near Creek North here. Bob, you mean Nick Gage's gang? That's right, stranger. I found them early this morning. I seen their smoke when they was cooking. That's why Tano and I are here, to find those men. You, 
You ain't parts of theirs, are you? No, Bob. We heard of them when they robbed the bank at Ridgely. They killed two men in that holdup. They sure did. Shot them down without giving them a chance. We want to see them brought to justice. Well, they're in those woods. I'll give you my word to that. I told the sheriff in town, but he just laughed at me. Sheriff Fuller? Uh-huh. You know him? I do, and I know he's deputy. Oh, Sandy's a good fellow, I but... saw Sandy riding toward town when I was coming here. Well, he was in town when I seen him last. And Bob, Sandy was riding from the direction of those woods. Did you tell the sheriff where you'd seen Nick? Well, I started to. He might have known the place I meant. The deputy was riding in a big hurry. But, but I don't savvy. If the sheriff thought there was a chance I was telling the truth, why didn't he say so? I could make a guess. Bob, when you spoke to the sheriff, did you mention the reward on those outlaws? Well, sure I did. If I found him, it was mine to claim, wasn't it? Tonto. Uh, do you remember the time Jed Crawford trailed Scar Nelson into this part of the country? Oh, Tonto member. Say, I heard about that. Jed went to the sheriff for help in capturing him. The sheriff gave Jed the slip, caught Scar by himself, and collected the reward. Yes. There was a heap of talk about it at the time, but Jed couldn't prove nothing, so it died out. And it wouldn't surprise me if the sheriff were trying the same thing again. But gosh, I need that cash. You do? Well, you see, everybody claims I ain't old enough or big enough to do a man's work, so... All I can get is our jobs. And there's more to take care of. But Pa's dead, you see. I think I do see. Me, uh, me tell Bob we give him food take home. And he'll have it. Well, not without earning it, I won't. You'll earn it, Bob. There's no time to talk about that now. But wait a minute, Steve. The Stray. deputy must have reached town by now. If what we suspect is the truth, the posse is probably on its way to Nick's hideout this very minute. If that's so, it's a doggone lowdown trick. There's nothing can be done about it now. But there is. We're riding, Tonto. Uh, here, Scout. What are you going to do? Perhaps I should let the sheriff get those men. They are wanted by the law. Or none worse. But, Bob, the law isn't going to capture them until you get the reward. Tonto and I are leaving. You take what supplies you can carry and go home. But I'll wait. I'll see you again, Bob, and then I'll explain. Ready, Tonto? Uh, me ready. Get him up, Scout. I'll kill the Deep in the woods, Nick Gage and his band of outlaws had remained in their camp for several days. The men were getting restless, and one of them, a slim, hard-faced criminal called Lobo, spoke for the others. Nick, I'm getting tired of laying low like this. When in blazes are we going to ride again? We ain't riding till things quiet down. All that cash in the bank at Ridgely and no chance to spend it. How much fooling money is there around these parts? Well, Not enough to buy a sick calf, except the cash we stole. What about it? What about it? Well, suppose you try spending any of that fallen money within a couple hundred miles of here and see what happens. You'll have a rope around your neck so fast you wouldn't even have time to collect your change. The boss is right, Lobo. Maybe so, but I sure crave action of some kind, Judd. There'll be time enough for that. Me, I ain't got nothing again taking things easy. This just suits me fine. And this <laughs> is as good a place to hide out as any. Maybe in a week or so. Yeah, what's that? Horseman. Riding this way. Roll out, you fellas. Hey, Mass, the redskins. Draw your guns. There's just two of them. Draw your guns like I told you. Yeah, looks like maybe they're outlaws, too. You're covered. Put away those guns. I've got to get out of here. Throw the silver. Oh, look out. What the hell? There's a posse riding here. You've got to run for a posse. Don't stand there. Get your horses. What are you telling us this way? Why do you suppose that you can escape? If this is a trick, you think Tonto and I'd ride in here alone just to trick you? But I don't. The mass corner's telling the truth. Listen. It's so. Get mounted. And hurry. I'll leave the horses carrying the cash. Don't wait for your blankets or nothing. Come on, men. Toward the hills. Get them, Come on, men. curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you. 
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger, realizing that the sheriff would attempt to arrest the outlaw band led by Nick Gage and keep the reward for himself, warned the outlaws of the posse's approach just in time for them to escape. The posse, soon outdistanced by the fleet horses of the outlaws, gave up the chase finally and disbanded. But the sheriff and his deputy made their way to the small cottage where Bob Bryan and his widowed mother lived. Oh, oh, oh. Teach that young whippersnapper to tip off crooks. Well, if he did, I don't blame him. And you're a fool. That's lost a thousand dollars by it. Cash that belonged to the boy, all right. Uh, cash that we would have collected. Sheriff. Where's that boy of yours? Do you want him, Sheriff? You just bet I do. Come on in, Sandy. Uh-huh. What is it, Ma? The Sheriff. Yeah, the Sheriff. But what the... I'll show you what. You give them outlaws warning, didn't you? Come on, speak up. You told them and I've got the proof. But I didn't. What are you accusing my boy of? I'd have had Nick Gage and his whole gang if it hadn't been for your kid. What? Well, when I went to get them with a posse, they was gone. I didn't tell them. You rode out of town with a redskin today, didn't you? But... Yeah, but... Uh, well, that same redskin was with Nick when I took after them. I don't believe it. It's so all right, Bob. But but he ain't no outlaw. I ain't to believe my own eyes, huh? It was the redskin that gave you the food, Bob? Well, they say it was. But from what you said about him, he sounded like a good man. Oh, he is. Him and his masked pod both. I don't care what the sheriff says. What masked man is that? Well, I... There I, was uh, a masked fellow with Nick, Sheriff. Why, you sniveling little whelp. Have you got the infernal gumption to stand there and say that you didn't warn them crooks when you admit you talked to a masked man? I, uh, You're going to jail for this. You can't arrest my boy. Oh, I can't, can't I? No, Sheriff, you can't. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not. He came to us first with his story about the crook's hideout, didn't he? And after you laughed at him, he rode away with the engine. How was he to know the engine was a crook? He didn't wear no mask, did he? Tondo ain't a crook, I tell you. Tondo's the Redskins handle? Uh-huh. Then his name's going on a wanted notice along with Nixon and the rest of them. And you listen to me, young fella. Yeah? I suppose if I jailed you for what you've done, you'd just lie out of it. As long as my deputy's been fool enough to show you how. Bob wouldn't lie about anything. Ah, you'd say that, sure. But like I was saying, kid, I'm keeping watch on you from now on. And another slip like this last one, you will find yourself behind bars. Just remember that. I've done nothing I'm ashamed of. And as for you, Sandy, I've stood for just about enough of your interference. Take my advice and start hunting a job punching cows. Because I'm giving you notice. And I'm getting me a deputy that knows when he's well off. <laughs> The outlaws, safe again after a hard ride, had dismounted and gathered around the masked man and Tonto. Well, stranger, thanks for the warning. You sure got to us just in time. For a second, I didn't think we was going to make it. I sure hate to think what might have happened if you fellas hadn't come along. You might have gotten away anyhow. <laughs> I got my doubts. Now, seeing as we're all friends, how about taking off that mask and showing us who you are? That mask stays on. Shucks, what's the difference? You ain't wanted by the law any more than we are. I said the mask stays on. Just a second. Maybe you've misunderstood something. Yes? You done us a favor by telling us about the posse. But don't think because of that that I ain't the boss. You're not my boss. Stranger, you better do like Nick says. It'll save you trouble. Now take that mask off. I'm going to have a look at you. You're not giving me orders. I ain't. How will you? Tonto. Me ready. Hey, what's Come on. Come here. Come on, but I want Quick, Tonto. Me ready. Hold on. Here we are. Come on. Get away from the house. Stop the fire. Hurry on, fellow. And not hit us. I'm afraid that we shall be getting away from them again. Uh -huh. Now we've got to put the rest of our plan into effect. That's right. We've taken on a big responsibility, Tonto. We both want Bob to get the reward money. But after all, it's more important to bring these men to justice. Ah, uh, so we can't fail now. We not fail. When we're safely away, we'll circle back and make sure we know where they are. And that's not hard. And you'll ride into town, and I'll talk to Bob. Ah. Uh -huh. You know the place they call Corral Canyon? Ah. Uh, that's where fellas catch wild horse. Yes. The cowboys use it sometimes when they're rounding up mustangs. Corral Canyon is really just a part of a larger canyon. The larger canyon is divided by a ridge that runs across it. I don't know that. The cowboys like to use Corral Canyon for catching wild horses because its entrance is so narrow that one man can block the horses from escaping. And the ridge further on is like a fence. 
too high for a horse to jump? Uh -huh. I wanted to be sure you knew the place, Tonto, because success depends on having everything timed just right. There are plenty of danger. Our plan is dangerous, Tonto, but it'll not only bring those outlaws to justice, it'll also see that Bob gets the reward money he deserves. Come on, Get Silver! Get him over, Scout! <laughs> Nick Gage led his men to still another hideout after the departure of the masked man and Tonto. But the Lone Ranger and the faithful Indian secretly followed the outlaws, marked their new camp, and prepared to go into action. To prevent any slip-up, they went over their plans once more. Then they parted, Tonto heading for town and the masked man for Bob's home. We see him as he reins in before the house. Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh. The masked man. Bob. I know you took the boy. I knew you'd come. Bob. How badly do you want the $2,000 that's been offered for Nick and his men? Mister, I'd do anything in the world for it. I could buy more things, maybe get a few head of cattle and... Where is your mother now? A friend came by for and she went to town. I see. Do you have a gun? A gun? You bet I have. I got two of them. There's an old sharp's paw hat for buffalo and a six-gun. It, it's the six-gun he was wearing the day he was killed. Then get them, Bob. Golly, is it going to be shooting? Boy, oh, I'd like to line my sights on them crooks. They will be shooting, but you won't be in any danger. As if I care about that. If there were real danger, I wouldn't let you take part. I'll get the guns right now. Wait. Yeah? I'll tell you what to do, Bob. And then you can get your guns and your horse. I have more riding to do and no time to waste. Go ahead, I'm listening. And, mister, if maybe I don't thank you and Tano for all you're doing in just the way I should, why, it's because I ain't got the words for it. Less than an hour later, the outlaws were aroused by the clattering of horses' hoofs at the edge of their camp. What was that? Came from where we got the horses hobbled. Uh, it must be. Hey, somebody's running off with a saddlebag that's got the cash in it. By heavens, it's a masked fella. Nick! Hey, hey Nick! Hey, on? Come on, the masked fella's stealing our cash. Get that barber. He's in the saddle already. Come on, Silver! Yeah, missed. And there goes everything we took from the bank. We've got to get it back. That polecat just won us the other time so he could locate our cash. And it was the biggest mistake of his life. Get back to the horses, fellas, and take after them. Come on, boys, to the horses. Meanwhile, Tonto raced into town and headed for the sheriff's office. Get him up, scout. Get him up. There, office. Oh, scout. Oh, oh, scout. Oh, oh. Tonto, fire gun. Long and hear that. Get him up, Scout. He's one of them outlaws. Now's our chance to get him. I've got his eyes on every man here. Come on. But that's the engine Bob said was straight. Sandy, you're still deputy till I get another. And by thunder, you obey orders. Let's get going. Oh, The masked man headed his great horse, Silver, toward Corral Canyon with the outlaws in full pursuit. Not too fast, Silver, old fellow. We don't want the outlaws to get out of sight. Just fast enough to beat Tonto there. Come on, boy! Spurring and whipping their mounts, the outlaws managed to keep the masked man in sight. He's heading for Corral Canyon. He wouldn't be fool enough to go in there. Maybe he don't know what it is. If he goes in here, we've got him. Come on. Hey, look. By heavens, he is going in. Whip up your horses and we'll catch him before he finds he's trapped and comes out again. We'll just about head him off. This entrance ain't wide enough for more than one horse at a time. Stretch out single file. I'll take the lead. Watch out for the rocks on both sides. Can you still see him? He's in here, all right. There he is. Why don't he pull up? Right the He'll see it in a second. It's too late now if he does. Well, I'll be... The blamed engine's just going to try and jump his horse across it. There they go. They'll break their necks as sure. horse is fair flying. He... Well, I'll be blessed if they didn't make it. Oh, well, 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 well. I never thought there was a horse alive could make a jump like that. <laughs> you know, for nothing. Look over there. He dropped the cash when the horse jumped. <laughs> that cash won't do you fellas no good. What the? Who said that? I did. Uh, what, what, get that behind mean? us. You can see his head stuck over one of them rocks by the entrance. Throw down your gun. And there's a taste of what you'll get if you don't. 
And if you figure on rushing this pass, I got me a six gun here, too. We're cut off. Then rush him. Double pause. That pass is too narrow. We can only go through one at a time. But we can't go no other way. Our, our horses won't jump the ridge like the mass fellas, John. We're trapped in here. With them rocks to hide behind, we can't even get a good shot at that blasted kid. Then we've got to rush him. I heard what you said. And that shot was to teach you better tell. I ain't going through there first. I'm going to ride into a bullet without a chance of firing at anything you can hit. And neither am I. You yellow coyotes. If you don't, then I will. Hey, Sheriff. Here's the crook you're looking for. I've got him pinned up inside. The sheriff, the posse. We're coming in there, you sidewinders. And if a hand is raised to shoot, we'll blast you out of your saddles. You know blame well we can't fight you. Don't shoot us down. Keep your hands up in the air, you sidewinders. Well, sheriff, here's the whole bunch. And if you say Bob didn't earn the reward this time, I'll tend to you myself. I ain't said he didn't have her. Well, I wouldn't advise yeah. it. You mean I'll get all the 2,000 reward money? You will, Bob, or I'll know the reason why. But all the outlaws ain't here. Well, who ain't? The redskin and the mask on, <laughs> I don't know about the mask man, but the engine never even rode in here. What? He slipped off the other way. But he's part. <laughs> there he goes. He was just on the other side of the ridge all the time. Waiting to see if I'd get the cash, I'll bet. He's the one who helped the trap us in here. And Nick? Someday we'll get that fella. Not from the end of a rope, you won't. And by heavens, I will. No, you won't, Sheriff. But if you ever did, you wouldn't be catching an outlaw. You'd be meeting up with the finest fella I ever knew. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.